Good afternoon and welcome back to NAB 2022 in the broadcast studio, Thompson Broadcast. We are here joined with our very next guest. Thank you so much. And Shelly from the Pearl TV, the CEO of Pearl TV joining us. What do you think being back at NAB after all these years stuck at home and just seeing people on the Zoom screens? <laughs> oh gosh, it's so great. I, I, I mean, it's hard to express what it's like to see all your colleagues and friends that you have not seen in person live uh, for over three years. So one of the things that I'm noticing is just how much the amount of collaboration um, and discussion that's happening at this show is going to accelerate the things we're working on, accelerate innovation in the broadcast industry. I mean, it's already done so much in a pandemic situation, but um, really happy to be here. And all of that innovation that's been happening, even as people were home, what has really caught your eye as you've been walking the floor and talking to folks? Just um, how far along the transmission chain manufacturers have come in terms of their ability to support Next Gen TV services, uh, the amount of innovation happening on receivers and devices, which is already available to consumers in the marketplace. Uh, the level of innovation on new things to come, uh, like the ability to deliver data files, I mean, really using broadcast television in ways that we've never thought of um, on a, this new IP transmission platform called Next Gen TV. And Next Gen and ATSC 3 has really been a popular topic of conversation here at NAB and a lot of focus on that. How are you seeing the adoption so far across the U.S.? Yeah, so it's popular because it's real. Uh, so consumers are purchasing their view. We have viewers today on Next Generation TV. We're in over uh, 60 markets. 50% of households are covered. Uh, this year alone, we'll, uh, 10% of all TVs sold will have Next Generation uh, content on them. Just a little known fact. 12,000 next-gen TV sets are sold every day. Wow. That's going to double and triple. Uh, it'll be hard in three years not to be able to, you won't be able to find a TV that does not have next-generation technology on it. And the consumers are starting to use it. Um, again, you know, 50% of households covered. By the end of this year, will be over 80% of U.S. households will be able to receive this new TV service that's free and over the air. That is incredible. And with the adoption of all of that new technology, and as you outlined, the future is bright as that adoption continues throughout the U.S., how does that evolve and change the broadcast industry as a whole? So for the first time ever, we're able to have a, a, a strong relationship with consumers because we're launching interactive services. They, they can pick and choose and personalize their experiences. So a great example is uh, news station is as doing their, their local news or you know their evening news, but they might have a particular story, investigative news story, that a consumer might want to know more information on. They can just click the television set and they can listen to more. So they get to choose how they want to engage with the news content, their favorite programs. Think about all the lifestyle content that broadcasters produce. Local restaurants could feature recipes that consumers can get right off the television or they could cook along with um, uh, the, the, the uh, chef that might be in a particular restaurant. So all kinds of interesting things that we can do with Next Generation Television in terms of bringing content to life um, on a connected television. And that really is a win-win-win if you think about it. It's for the consumer access and ease of, of purchasing and targeted just to their needs. And then you also have the advertisers who are able to monetize that. And then the products that are being, being sold. If you could kind of talk about just how many benefits there are. Sure, so uh, from a consumer perspective, it's a free service, uh, but they'll get a lot more content, a lot more relevant content, uh, a lot of local news and information, but again, the ability to deliver things that I haven't even thought of around um, engage, engaging. So for example, a kids program, they could do gaming as part of, when I say gaming, learning, so educational program that, that a, a child could play along with the program. Or it's informational, uh, more information than a consumer might want to receive. Emergency alerting is another one. Uh, so all kinds of things that can happen in this interactive TV environment. Um, so I think, you know, that part. For broadcasters, you know, consumers are they, they're engaging in the digital front. Uh, they're getting they're 
they're, they've got smart TVs, they know how to navigate a smart television, they want these modernized guides and these personalized uh, ways of getting content. We're meeting the consumer where they are today uh, it, with this free content. So that's the other part about it. So uh, for advertisers, we can bring sort of lead generation opportunities, um, sort of uh, targeted advertising. So really being able to deliver to the consumer what they might want. And think about how broadcasters cover large regions. We have broadcasters that cover multiple states. Uh, you know, one local high sports in one market is very different than the other. So they can really personalize to where the person lives including weather, there's a lot of microclimates, for example, or their disasters are not covering the entire uh, city, might be one portion of it. So all of that's available on this platform. That's really impressive and so many different uses. One of the things you mentioned was education and especially during the pandemic, something that we really focused on that we really didn't think about learning and, and really the, the need for educational programs in other ways. How does how does the implementation of this partnered Thompson Broadcast um, focus and meet consumer in the distance learning and remote education? Yeah, so, what, so this is an IP transmission uh, system. So think video is just a really big file we're sending out over the air. We can send course materials we, to an unconnected device. Uh, and that particular device almost becomes like a computer with the information on it. So there's a lot of testing going on with educational um, educational institutions. I can speak about one that's in uh, with the Howard University is looking at, they have a middle school on their campus. A lot of these kids don't have broadband at home uh, and they can, they're looking at deploying a device. I know Thompson's involved in developing some of these devices that can be used uh, and handed out to children and it's a way to get get used for the, the really big bandwidth stuff uh, that takes up a lot of bandwidth. You can push that out so all these course materials that are secure out to the kids uh, and then they can interact with it. So it's a great way uh, to give, I think, what is a, a low cost, no cost uh, methodology for, for uh, children to receive and schools to stay, stay in touch. Even when you, it could be battery up, even when you lost all power. Yeah, so that's another uh, benefit of all, of all of our platform. And really bridging that digital divide, it can help with that too. I mean, I mean we're seeing so many underserved communities without, like you mentioned, access. And giving an option to other options that are out there that are, you know, that, that may not serve them well. And so it's a great way uh, to be able to, and what's unique about this platform is we call it data casting, but again, we can send any file over the air. Uh, because it's IP. So think whatever you can do on the internet, we can now do over the air uh, with our broadcast transmission systems. Wow. Possibilities are endless, really. And, and next year, who knows what we're going to be talking about at NAB yeah. because, you know, things accelerate and, and change so quickly. Thank you so much for joining us here in the Thompson Broadcast Studio. And thank you all for tuning in. We'll be back in just a few minutes.